Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I hope you're all doing fabulous. I hope you're all choosing to be the versions of yourself that have exactly what you want. I hope that's what you're doing. And if you're not, well, then guess what? This video is going to be great for you. It's going to be great because you're going to do this. I think I'm going to put in the title a challenge. And if I didn't put it in, well, well, spoiler alert. This is going to be a challenge that we're all going to do together. If you're new here, how you doing? I'm Kimberly, and I am absolutely obsessed with getting what I want and knowing everything and everything, anything and everything about manifestation. And if you are too, and you can handle this sass, I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. Please do. And please let me know that you subscribe because YouTube doesn't always tell me who is subscribing. They just show my number going up. That's it. Okay. If you'd like to work with me in any way, shape, or form, all of that information is in the drop box below, including my special VIP Advanced Manifestors group. I'm going to talk about this group in every single video because I think it's the best group of all because that's the group that is completely all about deep diving manifestation, expanding our knowledge and awareness on conscious manifestation. The more expanded our awareness, the more we're rising in consciousness, the more understanding and downloads we have, the less afraid of reality we are and the more likely to experience the things we want. Just, just saying. And also, that group is special. It's called VIP Advanced Manifest. Well, it's actually called just Advanced Manifestors. I've added that VIP. Why I believe it's a VIP is because it gives you the access to all three of my channel memberships. So if what you want is just a weekly zhuzh, a weekly zhuzh where all we talk about is tips and tricks and success stories, well, you'll have access to that group, which is the Exclusive Lives group. I also have a group where you can get into a hot seat and ask me anything you want manifestation-wise. And if you join the VIP Advanced Manifestors group, you have access to that group too. See what I'm saying? The advanced manifestor is more bang for your buck. It makes more sense. I'm just saying. And that's you hanging out with me in a Zoom meeting, Zoom call, three times a week. And that's more than three hours a week. It's three times a week. Those calls always go more than an hour, I'm just saying. So I encourage you. I encourage you. You also get, uh, I'm sorry, the recordings too, access to all the recordings of previous sessions that you may have met. And especially for the advanced manifestors, so you can see what we've read already. So you can still experience the books that you weren't in the group for. Just saying. Um, that's it. No, all the other places to find me, the other platforms, my other YouTube channel, Kimberly's Other Life, all of that, Dropbox below. I'm going to shut up now and get to the business of this video. I put up a video. I'm going to tell you, I put up a video yesterday, but I'm recording it in the same day. I'm just keeping it real. I put up a video yesterday regarding flow, allowing detaching. And I kind of think this is going to go right on along with it. I think it ties along with it because it is allowing yourself to stop overthinking, stop analyzing, stop fighting, stop bringing your awareness back to things that are not what we want. And instead, allowing reality to flow allowing the dominoes to fall, allowing life to happen and not fight against it and always be thinking that everything is always working out for you. Every single thing you're experiencing is you getting what you want. That's how I prefer to view reality. And guess what? Because of how manifestation works, what you believe to be true will be true for you. What kind of evidence do you think I experience? in my reality, evidence that reality is working for me, that everything really does always work out for me. And it's not because I'm just so amazingly special and sassy. It's not just because of that, okay? Meaning this can work for you too. But the challenge is, and it's gonna tie in with reality transurfing principle, the habit of remembering. I'm going to tell you right now, this habit of remembering is not something new. It's just a different way of delivery from Vadim Zealand. Principle. 
In order to find a way out of a difficult situation, you have to first recall that it originated as a consequence of amplified importance. A non-lucid dream in which the events of the dream occur, irrespective of your will, only has total control total control over you because you are unaware of the fact that you are dreaming. It is exactly the same in waking life until you become aware of the fact that you have allowed your mind to become totally immersed in a problem. Circumstances will continue to control you. Stop. Shake off the delusion and remember that reality is a lucid dream, one you can control. Once you have woken up, practice transurfing in your waking dream. If you don't know what a lucid dream is, a lucid dream is is when you are actually dreaming, but it's like you wake up in the dream. You become aware that you are dreaming. I have experienced so many of these where in the dream, I know I'm just sleeping. I've asked this before, but if you're new, come on. You've never had that experience before. And if you haven't, guess what? I bet you one's in your future and you're going to come back and tell me because now you're aware of it. I love lucid dreams, by the way, because it's a perfect example of what is happening to us in regular life, in day-to-day, everyday 3D life. It's a lucid dream. It's no different. And really, what I think, outside of the fact that, yes, sleeping is recharging this battery of ours, right? This, this physical body of ours, the meat sack. Okay, I'm, that belief I'll accept. I don't mind that one because everything we know and believe comes from conditioning. Even that, even that is a belief. But regardless, outside of the fact that sleep is like recharging your battery, it also kind of unattaches you to the physical body. And I believe dreams are you hopping, but that's not what this video is all about, to other realities, other versions of you, just saying. When we're really, really attached, upset, overly entangled and involved with what's happening in reality around us, especially if we have a really shitty circumstance right now, which listen, you're never going to hear me say on my channel that, you know, you, you can't be upset with something because that's just not how I live my life either. If a circumstance pops up and I don't like it, I might, might be upset. I might. And that's okay. You need to decide that it's okay, by the way. Just saying. Not what the video is about. When we're all involved in something in reality, it's because, uh-oh, we fell asleep. We have forgotten that this, this is a mirror maze. This is an illusion. This is not what it seems. It's not what it seems. And we have the power to change it. So when circumstances pop up that we don't like, we don't have to be afraid anymore because we know better. You want something to get the hell out of your reality? For an example, a, a third party, if you're manifesting a specific person, they're already with somebody, you want that person to go away or maybe someone you're feeling threatened by. Now, that's a whole other kind of conversation of what you should be thinking about yourself. But when we want something to disappear, the idea is to get the awareness off of it. You know what I'm saying? Get the awareness off. That's how we get rid of stuff. But see, we're all so conditioned that when things pop up in reality, all we do is stare straight at it and out of habit, we want to fight and fix, and get rid of it and make it do what we want. The power isn't out here. The power is in here to fix things, okay? And think about it. Even the things that you think you need to fix, they're actually just leading you to your manifestation. But the, again, that's a whole other video. So when we're all entangled, when we're all emotionally attached and upset, we are forgetting that we are source. We are the one in charge of what's happening out here. And we're forgetting it. We're putting all our focus, all our power outside of us again. We're falling asleep. 
We need to remember to wake up. We need to remember that we are the gods of our realities. You don't believe in God, insert the word you do. You are source. You are it. Remember, you are the only cause of what you experience. Not from a place of blaming and shaming. Okay, and if you thought that, hello, victim state, just saying. But you're it and you're forgetting it and you're allowing things out here to control you, which is not conscious manifestation. It's unconscious manifestation. It's, as Vadim Zeeland would say, it's acting like a primitive person, a freaking primate. Okay, do you understand what that means? It's like the caveman days. That's how you're acting. We're all guilty of it. But now we should be waking up and doing our best not to act like a primate. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So the interpretation of that principle, when you are floundering in inflated inner and outer importance, the most difficult thing is to return to awareness in the right moment. For this purpose, you need the keeper, the inner observer who keeps a constant eye on your level of awareness. Of course, it is hard to keep yourself in hand when you feel like going ballistic. Pendulums are like vampires. They use a kind of anesthesia. Example, your habit of falling asleep when you react negatively to an irritant. Even now, after having read these lines, it may only be a matter of minutes before you get distracted and take an unwanted phone call in an irritable tone of voice. Try to wake up several times during the day. Look around you with a clear head and understand that it is all a dream and that you have been sleeping, not consciously aware of what you were doing. The habit of remembering is developed through consistent practice. Until being consciously aware becomes a habit, pendulums will do everything they can to get to you. Don't be dismayed. Overall, this will manifest itself as a minor problems. Don't give in. Learn to remember and you will be victorious. You'll see. I love how Vadim Zeeland talks. There is a sass to Vadim Zeeland. There is. He can be a bit logical, though. I'll, I'll be honest. He can. I don't agree with everything the man says, but a lot of his stuff I like. I think he and I would probably be friends. You know what I mean? So what's the point of this video, right? What's the point? The point is we're going to do a challenge. Now, if you are not new to my channel, let's be real, okay? I am not the coach or the manifestation video person. I'm not the one that is normally going to tell you that you need to set an alarm to do your manifestation techniques. I'm not. That's not my style. It's definitely not anything I do. So I don't tell people to do that. You can if you want, if it feels good, but you're not going to hear that from me. Okay. However, we're going to, we're going to set some alarms. We are going to do this for this challenge, but understand we're not going to look at it as this is something I have to do in order to have my specific person or in order to have my money, unless that feels good. Unless that feels good to you, unless that excites you. However, yet still identifying as being the version of self that doesn't have it. Let's keep it real. This instead is something to get you to get into the habit of remembering that you are the source. You are. You are source. You are source. Do you understand that? Or are you still surface level blowing that shit off? Because it feels like it's not important because it's not your manifestation. Listen, if you're guilty, secretly agreeing with the sentence I just said, I used to be like that too. I've said that in a more recent video. I used to do that too. I didn't care about anything. I just cared about getting my, my specific person, my manifestation. That's all I cared about. So a lot of the things I was learning, yeah, I was taking it in. I was learning, but I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit. I give a shit now because I understand like, oh my God, that's the most important piece of this. If you haven't yet decided who you really are, whether that's universe, God, higher power, source energy, moonbeams, or source, 
If you haven't made that decision yet, you need to come to terms with that. Granted, I'm not telling you, you got to believe every goddamn thing that you hear on this platform. I'm saying you need to decide for yourself what you believe about yourself. Is it just pure unadulterated consciousness? Is it just your subconscious mind doing things? You need to decide. You need to decide. For this challenge, we're going to call it source. You don't have to call it source, but for the video, we're going to call it source. You're going to set alarms. My suggestion is three times at minimum a day. I know that's annoying, okay? For some of you that might feel like, Kim, I can't do that. I cannot do three times. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You got to wake up in the morning or whenever the time you wake up for the first time in a day. That has to happen. You know it. You know you got to wake up at some point. Literally, physically wake up. So there's one time. There's one time. You know what? Some other point in that day, you're going to eat. You're going to eat at some point. Whether you're a one meal a day or you know you're going to eat at some point. Or at least drink some water. You know that's going to happen. There's number two. And you know at some point you're going to go to bed. There's number three. So at minimum, three times a day. Okay? I would love for you to do it more. I think you're probably going to experience more evidence, more results, and I'm believing it, and this is my reality from my perspective, so you might want to listen to this. Um, I think you're going to see more or experience evidence, more of it, in your reality if you decide to do it more than three times. Unless, of course, you decide right now in this moment that you've only got to do it the three times and you're going to see plenty of evidence. See what I mean? It's all about the beliefs. Can you tell I'm judged today? I am so judged off the track today. I just am. Because this is going to work. It's going to work. It's going to encourage you, and I know it is. When you're taking the time to remind yourself that you're source and that everything you're experiencing really is no different than a lucid dream. It's a dream that you're in control of. When you take the time to remember that, instead of getting more and more entangled into this lucid dream, Instead of being so entangled with it, the easier, the more malleable it is becoming for you. So we're going to set a timer. Again, I suggest at minimum three times a day. I challenge you to do more. Where every time your little alarm goes off, you're just going to remind yourself that you are source and that all of this is a lucid dream, an illusion, Whatever words really feel good to you, it's reflection. It's reflection. It's reflection. It's a mirror or the mirror maze or it's conforming to you. Whatever feels good to you, but you're remembering that you're the power behind it all. You're the only cause. I'm telling you, you're going to experience something. We're going to do this for a week. To be honest, I think we should do it for longer, but we'll do it at minimum for a week. Every day you're going to remember your source. And the, think about it. The idea behind this is to build up that habit of you remembering that your source. So when you're faced with any kind of circumstance, that that little reminder comes in. That you remember, okay, I'm, I'm source. I'm source. I don't have to like this. I don't have to be afraid of it. It might not make sense to me in this moment, but somehow, some way, it's leading to my outcome. Somehow, some way. If you're faced with a circumstance right now as you're watching this video, maybe something's happened and you're upset over it, here's your reminder that your source and whatever has happened might not make sense in this moment, but somehow, some way, it is shaping and moving and grooving you to the version of yourself that has exactly what you want. If that doesn't make sense to you, then we can view it as whatever that circumstance is. It is somehow still leading you to you getting what you want because that's what it is. People want to apply logic and logic leads to judging and conditioning 3D, which trips us up and gets us entangled. It gets us to fall asleep again. And we don't want to. We don't want to fall asleep. 
not now that we're aware that everything is happening by our own accord, which is a powerful thing. Okay, it's a powerful thing. It should feel good to know that. Everything really is working to your benefit. It really is. But it helps when you have a habit of remembering that you are source. It helps to be in the habit of staying aware. Aware of when your mind wants to suck you into thinking shitty things, remembering shitty things, seeing circumstances and being afraid of them. None of that benefits us. What benefits us is getting our awareness onto what we want. And there's nothing more important than staying aware that you are the source of what you experience. So there's the challenge. At minimum, three times a day, you're going to remind yourself that you are source. It's nothing more than that. You don't have to do anything more than that. This is easy. You are source, okay? If something happens and you miss an alarm and you aren't able to do three times a day, one of the days this week, let's not instantly be upset with ourselves. We don't got time for judgment on stupid shit. Just get back to it. Just return to your decision. Okay? All right. So on that note, if you're an HBIC and you're subscribed to my channel, well, thank you for subscribing, but you better do this challenge. You better do it. I'm watching, okay? We'll talk about this shit in a week.